I'm here just outside the Digital District at Lampros Hall, where students are fact-checking and live-tweeting the District 1 Congressional Debate. Representative Blake Moore and candidate Rick Jones are just a few buildings away from here debating hot topics in Utah's 1st District. Moore's Republican platform runs on his belief that conservative leadership is the best thing for America's future. It would seem that others agree, as a recent poll by the Utah Debate Commission shows that Moore is leading with a 62% support rate in comparison to Jones' 32%. Representative Moore took office in 2021 following the completion of Rob Bishop's six terms. He believes that states and local officials have the constitutional right to administer their own elections and complete secure voting processes. Moore's previous votes on House bills reflect his stance that tax increases on corporations and the wealthy are not the way to go. Moore does, however, believe in increasing funding for Hill Air Force Base and police services. While opposing the Affordable Care Act, he does believe in lowering medical costs and ensuring that the public can opt into private insurance coverages of their choice. As for local news, the student-run KWCR Wildcat Radio lost almost half of its space in the Shepherd Union building. The loss of space stems from the expansion of the Center for Diversity and Unity in an effort to create a new cultural center, different from the Center for Multicultural Excellence. In other political news, the House of Representatives will have a new majority for the next two years. The Republican Party gained the majority this week by flipping eight seats, getting them over the 218 seats needed for a majority. Republican candidate Blake Moore won the Utah District 1 seat over Democratic challenger Rick Jones. Nancy Pelosi will step down from her role as the Democratic leader in the House as well. Pelosi led the Democratic House for 19 years. Flipping over to the Senate, the Democratic Party will hold on to the majority for the next two years. And in Utah, Mike Lee will be in Washington for the next six years after keeping the Senate seat against independent challenger Evan McMullen. And the Cardiac Cats also saw their season come to a close as they fell to the Drake Bulldogs two sets to three in the first round of the NIVC tournament on Sunday. Weber State led two sets to one before losing the final two. And when one season ends, another one begins for our Wildcats. The women's track and field team opened up their season with a record-setting performance. Senior Billy Hatch looks to defend her Big Sky Championship in the 3,000 and 5,000 meter from last season. She started off strong by posting a school record in the 5,000 meter with 15 minutes and 53 seconds. From corn mazes to live performances. Owned and operated by the Black and Law family for over 60 years. Rocks and a magic show. They also offered Nightmare Acres. It was sort of his thought, why aren't we keeping students here instead of sending them everywhere else for PA school? So Yeah, a bit of the dream and the passion of Weber State is addressing the needs of this community. And so Weber State University did a lot of research uh, to find out the needs of this community and one of those needs is clinicians. If I can get students in the room to watch that debate, that's fabulous. But even better, like level up, is to get students in a room live fact-checking, which then provides information out to other students. 